Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Nefertiti Bust Around 1345 BC, an ancient Egyptian sculptor named Tutmos created a bust of Nefertiti, the wife of 18th dynasty pharaoh Akhenaten. Famous for her beauty, she was one of history's most iconic women. The bust was discovered in 1912 by German Egyptologist Ludwig Borchardt during an excavation of the studio of Tutmos. Although there are no inscriptions on the artifact identifying it as Nefertiti, experts believe it's her, due to the trademark blue crown she's been seen wearing in other depictions. The bust measures 19 inches tall and weighs 44 pounds. But what makes this particular discovery creepy is that the image of the queen, though beautiful, displays one empty eye socket, making the otherwise lovely image rather unsettling. Tutmos apparently inserted quartz into the pupils of Nefertiti's eyes, but one of the stones is missing. Because other images of the queen do not show any eye defects, experts believe that the quartz simply fell out and that it doesn't represent a real-life condition or injury. A CT scan performed on the bust in 2007 revealed that it was made from limestone covered in layers of stucco of varying thickness. The sculpted inner face was slightly different from the final product. The cheekbones were less prominent, there was less depth in the corners of Nefertiti's eyelids, and there was a slight bump on the ridge of her nose. Soon after its discovery, the bust became a symbol of pride in Berlin, where its caretakers were reluctant to cave in to Egypt's demands to turn the artifact over. The campaign to repatriate the Nefertiti bust began as soon as it went on public display in 1924. It is currently exhibited today in a museum in Berlin. Number 9. Multiple Missing Persons Bodies by now, you've most likely heard all about the disappearance and murder of Gabi Petito. She was a 22-year-old blogger from Long Island who vanished in September while traveling the country in a van with her boyfriend, Brian Laundrie. By the time her body was found, Laundrie had also gone missing, sparking a widespread manhunt across the country. The search turned up the remains of at least five other missing people, including 33-year-old Josue Calderon, 46-year-old Robert Lowry, 55-year-old Sarah Bayard, and two others who have yet to be identified at the time the news was revealed. Soon after that, the murdered bodies of newlywed couple Kylan Schult and Crystal Turner, who had crossed paths with Petito and Laundrie, were found in Utah. Schult had worked at a food co-op where Laundrie was seen slapping Gabby, leading some to suspect that the cases were linked. Authorities later proved that there was no connection, but the coincidence is eerie just the same. What's more disturbing about the discoveries is that the fact that all of these people may still be considered missing, if not for the intensive search for laundry. It makes you stop and wonder just how many bodies are out there, waiting to be found so that their loved ones can get some type of closure. Number 8. A Black Hole on Google Earth Many people today have made it a hobby to search Google Earth and Google Maps in search of strange landmarks. Earlier this year, one eagle-eyed Reddit user found what looked like a black hole in the middle of the ocean. Commenters speculated that the site is censored for some reason. Perhaps it's a top-secret military base or some other government facility. This is a credible theory. In 2017, journalists reported that Google often blurs out sensitive sites like prison yards and military bases. One thing almost everyone agreed on is that the black mark is not a natural formation but one person said that they thought it could be an underwater volcano. Many people found the idea laughable, with some even joking that maybe the strange formation was the island from the TV show Lost. Another Redditor joked that it was a portal to a hollow Earth, playing on the popular conspiracy theory that the inside of the planet is empty or contains a substantial amount of space. One Redditor finally put the mystery to rest, revealing that the so-called black hole is actually very dark green and that it is, in fact, an actual landmass known as Vostok Island. Situated northeast of New Zealand, the island belongs to the Pacific island nation of Kiribati. It gets its seemingly pitch-dark hue from the thick jungle foliage that covers the land. So in reality, the site isn't censored or secretive in nature, it's just dense with vegetation. Number 7. Hidden Hotel Room while staying at a motel with her grandmother, a TikToker named Addison Castle became curious about the strange-looking floor beneath her bed. The two decided to take a closer look. They got down on the floor and pulled an area rug away, revealing a cutout in the floor. Beneath the carpet was a board, which the pair also had to pull out of its place, revealing a secret room beneath the one they were staying in. 
The motel is only one story, which means that the hidden space is in the building's basement. It contained no electrical wires or plumbing fixtures, ruling out the possibility that it was used for those purposes. Castle shared footage of the eerie discovery on social media, mentioning that she couldn't see the end of the room, which freaked her out. The chilling find is just the latest of many hidden rooms, crawl spaces, and even an entire apartment that TikTokers have shared with their followers over the last few years. In early 2021, a woman named Samantha Hartso discovered an entire hidden apartment behind the bathroom mirror of her New York City home. She became suspicious after feeling a strange draft coming from behind the mirror, so she pulled it out of the wall, revealing the secret space. Samantha squeezed through the tiny hole leading to the room and found an old toilet, some garbage, and a discarded water bottle. While the discovery is admittedly rather uneventful, to find an entire apartment you didn't know about hidden behind the one you live in is unsettling to say the least. Number 6. Fungus that lures flies to their death A recent study found that a relatively common fungus lures flies into having deadly intercourse with one another. The fungus, Entomophthora muscae, attracts healthy male flies to dead, infected females. The male mates with the corpse, becomes infected, and spreads the deadly spores to more flies. Gross. Dying at the mercy of E. muscae is slow and torturous. When a spore lands on a fly, it grows shoots that punch through the insect's exoskeleton and spread the fungus throughout its body, according to researchers from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The growth eventually begins to pour from between the fly's armored segments. Once it reaches the brain, the fungus compels its host to go to a high place, somewhere ideal for spreading the spores that are pouring from its body. After that, the fly's job is done, and it dies. The recent study put healthy male flies near dead females who were both infected and uninfected. Researchers found that males were five times more likely to try mating with infected female flies. Research team member Andreas Hansen described the fungus as a deadly aphrodisiac of sorts. The team also determined that flies were far more attracted to flypaper traps that were covered in fungal spores. The studies show that certain chemicals are responsible for the boost in sexual behavior, and the findings could prove useful for developing pest control products. But in order to do that, scientists will need to figure out exactly which chemicals are attracting the flies. What do you think about this scary fungus with deadly spores? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Gerbil Tooth Headdress In modern-day Kenya, there is a 5,000-year-old gravesite called the Lothagam North Pillar. Situated in a sprawling field, it consists of burial mounds and pillars that took anywhere from 450 to 900 years to build. At the center of the 15,000-square-foot site, there is a stone platform measuring 100 feet in diameter. It contains a burial chamber that may have once held the remains of up to 580 people. This site doesn't seem to be dedicated to royals or elites, though. It's actually filled with the graves of ordinary tribe members of all ages and genders, who were indiscriminately laid to rest side by side. Nobody received preferential treatment, and most of the bodies were adorned with colorful jewelry. Yet one discovery stood out among the rest a headdress made with over 400 gerbil teeth that came from 100 different gerbils. Because the species was not yet domesticated, the person who made the headdress went through the painstaking process of trapping the animals. Just imagine! The amount of time and effort that went into creating this creepy but fascinating decorative item. Catching each gerbil, removing their teeth, and then making the actual headdress. Number 4. Strange Ancient Graves in 2016, archaeologists discovered one of Europe's oldest grave sites, dating back roughly 8,500 years to the Mesolithic period, near the German village of Gross Fredenwald. The grave site contained nine human skeletons, with five of them belonging to children younger than six years old, including a six-month-old infant. At the time, Europe was home to numerous hunter-gatherer tribes. They were always on the move, according to forensic anthropologist Bettina Junklaus so it's actually quite rare to uncover multiple Mesolithic graves in one place. Yet this cemetery was used for over 1,000 years, until around 7,000 years ago. Oddly, the burials are situated in a place where the soil was rocky and hard, making it difficult to dig graves. There were also no nearby water sources, making it a less-than-ideal location for a settlement. 
Lead excavation archaeologist Thomas Turberger took these factors as signs that the burials were carefully planned out, making this site a true anomaly among other European graves from the time period. Its strangest feature is the grave of a man who was buried upright with bone tools and flint knives. Even more strangely, he was only buried up to his knees, while the rest of his body was left to decompose until the rest of the grave was filled in. The man's skeleton shows no signs of him having performed hard labor during his lifetime, indicating that he was likely a skilled craftsman of some sort. He lived at a time when Europe's first farmers were settling in the region, so his remains may offer new insight into this transitional period, as well as the encounters between hunter-gatherers and those with a more agrarian lifestyle. Still, the biggest question of all is why the man was buried standing up. Experts are hoping that a DNA analysis will tell them if he migrated to the area from Russia, where similar graves have been found. Number 3. Soviet-era Bunker The Cold War era was defined by mounting tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union as they tried to outcompete one another when it came to everything from nuclear weapons to developments in space. During that time, people feared that these tensions could erupt into war at any moment, so it was common for people to build fallout shelters beneath homes, businesses, and public buildings. As a result, many of these hidden spaces are still being discovered today, but it's rare to find a fallout shelter frozen in time, untouched since its abandonment. In 2017, an urban explorer going by the YouTube name Shai discovered a small concrete structure while wandering through an old factory in Russia. Video footage he captured shows him going through a dark corridor and then opening two giant metal doors to reveal a room chock full of old relics, with working ventilation and electricity. The items include gas masks, newspaper clippings, photos, tools, boots, medicine, clothing, and boxes full of equipment dating all the way back to World War II. There are coats still hanging on hooks, papers tacked to the wall, and what appears to be a designated sleeping area covered in clothing and survival equipment. The YouTuber didn't disclose the bunker's location, probably because he wasn't supposed to be there. So the details of the site remain shrouded in mystery, leaving viewers to draw their own conclusions about where the bunker might be and why it still looks like it was abandoned yesterday. Number 2. Possible Fugitive Hideout Let's face it, any cabin in the woods is creepy by default. But internet users took things to a whole new level recently when they discovered a shack in Florida's Big Sloth Preserve, where they believe that Brian Laundrie may have hidden after being named a person of interest in the homicide of his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. Self-declared activist Andra Griffin shared footage of the cabin's interior, which shows pieces of wood and a partially collapsed ceiling scattered across the floor and on a bench. Some internet sleuths assume that law enforcement probably never even bothered searching the cabin, while others speculated that it might serve as a hiding spot for killers in the future. The dilapidated structure is certainly off-putting, but whether or not Laundry hid there will likely remain unknown. His partial remains were found around the same time the video appeared, leaving many unanswered questions surrounding Gabby's disappearance and death. Laundry's cause of death has yet to be announced, and his role in the tragedy is also a mystery. Number 1. Secret Room Behind the Kitchen Cupboard One of the first things many people do when they move into a new house or apartment is explore. After all, you don't always get a chance to take an in-depth look when you go to view a property. While taking a peek around their new rental home recently, an unnamed couple found a room hidden behind the back of their kitchen cupboard. There is no normal door leading to the space and the room has no flooring, yet it has a window and is filled with building materials. The confused couple documented their discovery on social media, hoping that maybe someone had some insight into why the room might be there, or perhaps why it was concealed. Some suggested that it was the perfect place for a serial killer to hide bodies. Others were less concerned with what the space was used for and were annoyed because the room was a waste of good natural light. While nobody could quite figure out the room's purpose, they had plenty of recommendations for putting the room to good use. One mom wrote that she'd turn it into a hideout for her kids, while another piped in that she'd use it as her own personal hideout for when her husband stresses her out. Upon taking a closer look at the room, the couple received one more unexpected surprise when they found vintage bottles of wine, some of which were more than 50 years old. Cheers! Thanks for watching! 
Which of these discoveries did you think was creepy? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time, bye!